Hello everyone, welcome back to the electronics bench. Today I'm going to show you how to build the poor man's uh, function generator. Um, I'm assuming everyone has some sort of phone or, or tablet of some kind. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is load up our device and search for function generator. Now, on the Google Play Store, this is the one I recommend, is the Function Generator by Coolsoft. Lots of features, lots of good stuff. We're going to use this in this video today. If you have an iOS device, I think they have, you know, decent generators that you can use, but we're going to use this one. And this is what it looks like. So you have two channels, and you can select the channel to be on, or each channel to go to the left or the right uh, output. Uh, you can choose from sine wave, square wave, triangle wave, and you can uh, adjust frequency, amplitude, phase, and bias, which for square wave, I think, or the uh, or all the ways like a DC offset kind of thing um, it has a sweep generator or an amplitude sweep so you can frequency sweep or amplitude sweep and it has a burst mode it also features white and pink noise FM and AM modulation and some memory banks to save your stuff with so up here it shows the frequency and the amplitude uh, for each channel and then you can enable or disable the left or the right channels and turn the output on and off and adjust the volume here I always keep the volume at 100% because what we're going to do later on is um, adjust the level with a small little preamp also, it's handy to turn the device volume all the way up as well because we're going to be using the headphone out port to retrieve our signal. So that's this part of the video. Okay, so now we have our function generator tablet. Now what you need is um, to make a headphone style jack. I've made this out of uh, three separate wires and I have the left and right channels here with the ground separated. So let's plug this into our function generator and I'll, tr well, I'll try to kind of Set this up so that we can sort of see everything, but I can't see if this will work to hold everything. There we go. Okay, so now I'm going to take one of the channels and hook it up to my oscilloscope and the ground. And we're going to turn the output on. And you can see there's a small bit of signal there. Now I'm going to turn up the device volume all the way. And there we have it. So I'm going to take the camera and show you a full view here. So I have the generator app running plugged into the headphone port uh, I just scoped one of the channels the left or the right doesn't matter and the ground here into the oscilloscope and we have a really nice one kilohertz sine wave at about 600 millivolts so that's not very high now is it Here's where you're going to need to build something 
to kind of boost that up a bit. Now, John Audio Tech has a very good bench preamp design that he built to test audio amplifiers with. And that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, and I have built a copy of it here. So what I'm going to need to do is get a cable like this, because this is just what I had laying around. Um, so a cable to plug into the headphone port of our um, tablet or phone and RCA jacks to input into the preamp and then I can plug the other cable here to this output and we can boost that signal. So let me get this all set up and I'll be right back. Okay so now we have our function generator tablet hooked in through the headphone port to the bench preamp and then the output here is now connected to the scope just one channel I left the other one floating it's totally fine and now we're going to turn the amp on and with the input dial here oh sorry let me turn the output on and then I'll start dialing up the amplitude here and we can start to see a sine wave coming through. I, I turned the volts per division up a bit so we could see so there's our about well about here is our 600 millivolts and so right here it's pretty much a unit of gain amplifier but we can get much more out of it I think if we uh the device volume on this guy seems to always go down on me, so I have to really crank it up. Alright, so now we're getting about 6 volts here. May a little bit less than 6 volts, but you can see we're starting to, to clip here. So I'm going to back that off just a bit. There we go. Let's see if we can fit it. Oops, wrong way. Yeah, it's pretty close. The edge here. There we go. So now we're getting about 5.4 volts. Sorry if this uh, comes through the camera crappily. But there you can see 5.44 volts at 1 kilohertz. And 1 kilohertz is exactly what I have here on the function generator, so that's perfect. Doesn't seem to be at all jittery. If we zoom in, we can we can really see that it's very stable. So that's pretty awesome. And of course, you can do this with other um, other waveforms that it supports. So here's a triangle wave and the square wave. The square wave is a little iffy because you get this sort of ripple content in there. And that's just the uh, triggering of the scope there. Um, you get this ripple content which is kind of annoying but if you're uh, if you're driving a device that's you know edge sensitive as long as it sees this rising edge you know you'd be okay um, so I'm not a big fan of the square wave on it but it, um, we'll be dealing mostly with audio so nice pure sine wave looks good to me so there's the amplifier inside here and I will bring up the schematics and a parts list and we'll talk about this for a few minutes. Okay, so here's the input of the, or the inside of the preamp. I've took the lid off um, and you can see we have RCA inputs, a power switch, a 1 8 inch headphone style output jack, and a potentiometer for varying the level control. 
Uh, inside, we have just a small perf board of, let me just grab one here, of this style with the copper rings. And so, let me just flip this around. So it goes in through the RCA jacks into the potentiometer and then out of the potentiometer into the amp and I'm using an NE um, 5532 op amp and I have a couple of Cree LEDs in here uh, limited with 10k resistors to keep the current down quite a bit um, and I have the dual pull uh, switch for and of course the batteries powering the thing so you know you just hook two nine volts in series and um, you know create your you know virtual ground as they call it I suppose and uh, power the op amp with plus nine and minus nine volts um, and then of course it comes out each channel into the um, headphone style jack there and that's all there is to it I used uh, double sided tape to secure the board and the batteries and all the other stuff is just panel mount stuff but here you can see the double sided tape under the batteries and under the board there let's just put that aside here and bring out the schematic so this is the schematic for the thing um, Hopefully this will come in. Um, I'll, I'll um, provide a link for this in the, in the description. But basically here's the um, supply. So you have two batteries uh, in series with each other uh, with your virtual ground in the middle. A dual pole switch so they're totally disconnected um, to totally disconnect the batteries. Um, then I have LED indication to know if it's on or if one of the rails goes bad. Um, doesn't matter, you know, if you want to use different colors, do whatever you like. Um, oh, and here's the RCA inputs into a dual gang potentiometer. Uh, that's 10K, by the way, log um, audio taper style pot. Um, 2.2 microfarad coupling caps with um, 20k pull downs and we have the standard non-inverting style amplifier um, and a, a couple of decoupling caps here and then your outputs um, I actually forgot to put the the outputs on here so, well, I mean, you could imagine the output. I can draw it if you, you know, but it's not a big deal. So you just take the output from pin one and pin seven there. Um, this was originally designed by John Audiotech. So all credit goes to him. Um, I just basically copied the circuit and and that's about it. Here's the parts list. Oops, sorry about the crappy camera work here. Um, so here's the parts list. Um, I'll just scroll through this so you can pause at any time. An original project and designed by John Audiotech. I'll leave this link in the description below so you can go right to his channel and actually watch his video on it. It's a very good video, good watch. He has a lot more in-depth explanation of the circuit than I do. Um, just wanted to give a quick rundown and kind of show you how how to uh, how to make it. So with this and your tablet that you've had lying in the closet for months now can be used as a poor man's function generator 
So there you have it. And uh, oh, I forgot one more thing. We forgot to measure the gain. Oop, sorry, of the circuit. So gain is 20 log uh, V out over V in. So what did we say it was 5.44 volts RMS? And we had 600 millivolts on the input. So we're looking about 19.1 dB of gain in the uh, in the amplifier. So pretty uh, pretty neat range there. And uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching. Just real quick before I finish this out, um, this would be the output here. Um, into your headphone style jack um, sorry about that I totally forgot to put that in the schematic um, the link for this uh, schematic will have that uh, in there I'll make sure to put that in there before I upload the video and the file for download so sorry about that thanks for watching